Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. Got this thing flipped upside down. Actually got a little cradle made for it. Took some foam that Dad had and wasn't using and uh, I uh, took it the bulkheads I cut out and laid it on that foam and uh, made a perfect little stand right there. Flipped it upside down. But, we got some things to talk about. Remember a long time ago when I told you guys I was going to show you the good and the bad? Okay, I almost just fixed this. And, uh, decided I was going to tell you guys about it. Last week, when we slid that wing in place, oh, it fit just perfect inside of here. And, uh, everything was great. Except for my main spar was too far forward. And, uh, the bolts wasn't going to light up. Had a lot of people asking about them bolts. Uh, but no, they clear. It didn't look like that in that video, but it's kind of an optical illusion. There's probably not quite a quarter inch clearance, but them bolts fit fine, the heads of them. But, uh, my main spar was too far forward. You know, when you're building by the seat of your pants like we are, no plans, no instructions, no videos, uh, you gotta expect stuff like this. So I had two choices. Uh, get that main spar out of there or scrap this whole fuselage. And uh, I was willing to try and get that out of there. And it wasn't easy. It actually took me a couple of days. And I'll show you what I used. I took a heat gun. You guys know that uh, if you want to get some epoxy loose, if you take your heat gun and heat it up, it comes off a lot easier. But I had to do it in little bitty spots. And if that top wasn't carbon fiber right there, I never would have been able to do this. I'd have tore this fuselage to shreds. But I took this and started right here in the side and just started going all the way around it, little bits at a time, and then move it up. Then I'd heat it and hammer it back in there and move it. And uh, it took a while, but I got that dude loose and that uh, didn't hurt a thing. Then I turned it and uh, pulled it right out this Bombay. Uh, took the land, uh, took the actual gear off to make it a little easier to work with, but I wanted to change a few things too. Uh, you know, we was talking about putting wood on the bottom of that thing, but I didn't do it. You know, we was kind of in a hurry to get to Breckenridge, and uh, I should have did that. And uh, these where these nacelles went was just kind of floppy. So what I did is I put that wood on the bottom and ran it on past into that little pad. I don't know how well you guys can see that. So now when I glue this all back in there, it'll be solid on both sides. And I'll be able to screw that down into that. And uh, then I'll take some of them uh, helicoil type things, you know, and put some threads in there for some machine screws. Same way here on the back. See, I really, I tripled that up on the bottom. And then, uh, when I glue that back down, I'll uh, put my nacelle on there and drill through it because that's right where my turbines sit. And then I can put some helicoils in there and uh, have something to screw them nacelles to. And that'll really fasten them down good. And also, while I had that bulkhead out, I knocked out for this big hunk of wood here. And because I kind of had to tie all this together, I was kind of, you know, it's kind of floppy, kind of flimsy. And, uh, I just had to do something. So I got this piece of wood going from here all the way up there. That's like one inch by half inch. That's a pretty good hunk of wood. And this was all stuff I got at the uh, hardware store. Just some hardwood dowels, square dowels. And uh, I think it's like popular. But that's pretty nice wood. It's all nice and straight. This is a piece of three eighths. This is, a, is what I'm putting on my Bombay door lips. See, and then I notched all this out so where I can just, all that will notch together. Then after I get them glued in, I can come in here with some light ply panels and uh, glue them in place and uh, essentially like build a box inside there. And that will really sturdy this airplane up and it'll be, it'll be rock solid. And uh, same thing here. I'm going to take these longer sticks and I'm just going to make them all one piece. 
and uh, notch them bulkheads and do the same thing there and to where uh, we get my plywood in there that'll really sturdy up the nose to this there won't be no flex uh, get rid of that floppiness and after I get that done I'm going to cut another hatch here because our fuel tanks are going right here plus our uh, linear servo that's going to work our wings so I'm going to go ahead and make a big hatch here but I wanted to get all this glued in place first and uh, this is really going to work out nice now when I glue this back in I haven't glued it yet but I'll be able to tilt it then I'm going to take some uh, epoxy and uh, thicken it up with uh, either some cotton flock or baking soda I'm, I'm probably going to go get me some cotton flock I don't know if you guys know what that is but that is like ground up cotton that actually gives you fibers that weave together instead of just uh, you know like a filler and it'll make it a little stronger you don't want to mix it too thick to where it don't soak into the wood you won't get a very good bond but leave it kind of thin so it soaks in real good and I'll tilt it that way and put me a bead of glue with my pastry bag on the bottom squirt it under the wood tilt it the other way and then I could do the same thing here then I could just lift these up you know, without them clips there and get all that glue back in place and I'm glad I did that now my wings will fit perfect and I uh, won't have to change a thing. I won't have to scrap this fuselage. Whew, that was a close one. But uh, see, there was a line. There was a panel line here and a panel line here. What I did is I put it on this forward panel line. It should have been on that back one. But, you know, I didn't know. And uh, now that we do, remember, this is just a prototype. We're going to get this flying, get this in the air. And, uh, you know, any changes we need to make. You know if uh, something happens but there's down in there so you can see down in there where my elevator push rods are going then my servos will go right there in that pan and get all that to that all real easy now I'm going to tie these front bomb bays together with one long piece of pipe remember my uh, revolver bomb bay dropping device well that one servo is going to work Two uh, bomb dropping mechanisms. Do so you remember that in one of my earlier videos? I'm just going to tie both them bomb bays together so when I turn that servo on, it'll spit out two bombs at a time. Choo, 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 choo. Going across the sky and I'll be able to turn that on and off. That's going to be cool. But I just want to give you guys a head up. Heads up, make you a quick movie and show you what's going on. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue all this in place. And I still got some notches to cut in these two bulkheads. And I, when I got them cut, I just got to cut the notches. Not that big a deal. Then drill a hole for my pipe to go through. And uh, probably going to end up having to put another hatch right here so I can get to that servo that works. That revolver bomb dropping device. That's what we're going to call it. A revolver bomb dropping device. device. But it's my invention so I can call it what I want. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's where we're at folks and uh, this is really going to sturdy up the bottom of this now I could put a hinge for my bomb for my gear doors right there and uh, this is going to sturdy all this up it won't have any flop in it when I'm done and uh, we're trucking right along folks I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and uh, show you how all this is fitting and uh, I want to get it all tied together and uh, make us make us a solid OB1 bomber and uh, that's about it but I tell you guys what I'm fixing to go over dad's and load this video uh, I'm going to make a movie over there who I wants to see the SR71 say me 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 <laughs> he's trucking right along on that thing we're about ready to glass that plug it's really looking pretty good but uh that's all I got for you guys this week. I've been busy. I know it ain't look like I did much, but whew, it took me two days to get that bulkhead out of there. Two days. It was not easy, but uh, I did it. And uh, got all that old epoxy cleaned up. It's going to glue right back in place. I'll tell you what, I am not worried about that bulkhead coming loose one little bit. Uh, that thing was stuck, man. 
But it had to be done. You know, what do you do? You, you throw the whole thing away or fix it? But uh, I was able to fix it. And uh, we're trucking right along. And uh, we'll see you in Dad's shop here in a little bit.